When you hear about numbness in your arm or chest pain, you think of heart trouble, right? Well, most people don't know that leg cramps can also be a sign of cardiovascular trouble. Just watch. <laughs> The weather is warm, the ocean is calling, and after months of having to sit out these dives, Eric Carlson can't wait to get back into the water. So today, we're going to find out if I can make it. He's not talking about making it through the dive. If Eric can make it across the beach without cramping up, it'll be a milestone. This is going to be kind of a test run, so it's pretty cool. Why would a simple walk be such an ordeal for a strong, fit man? A man who's led marine photography dives all over the world. Well, for a long time now, Eric has been dealing with a strange problem in his legs. I'd take 20 steps, I'd have to stop, I'd have to rest, I'd have to bend over, let everything calm down. It would start as a sharp pain in his hip. And then if I kept on moving, the pain would slowly go down my leg and then would start burning in my calf and then Eventually, my, my foot would actually go numb so that I couldn't even feel my foot hit the ground. At home, at work, walking on flat ground or upstairs, when he'd stop, the pain would vanish. But as soon as he started walking again, the pain came right back. I was saying, okay, I'm just going to have to live with this condition for the rest of my life. Sciatica. Eric sat out of all sorts of activities because of what he thought was a nerve problem until one doctor suggested this. A blood pressure test for his feet. A simple screening test you know, where they check the blood pressure in your arms and legs really can be done in just about any office. Doesn't hurt, doesn't take very long. At Sutter Health Santa Cruz Medical Foundation, tests confirmed what Dr. Neil Sawney suspected. The blood pressure in Eric's left leg was much lower than in his right. He got an MRI scan. Um, and it showed that he had a almost total blockage of his iliac artery. Um, the iliac artery being the pelvic artery that comes from the aorta down to the leg. Eric was shocked to learn that plaque, the same kind that causes heart attacks, had blocked 90% of the blood flow to his leg. The diagnosis? Peripheral vascular disease. First thing I, uh, I, I told Eric is he got to stop smoking. This is where all your nicotine goes right there. Some patients opt for no treatment, but if there's a blockage in your leg, odds are about 50-50 there's another blockage somewhere else in your body. That disease in your leg arteries is not going to kill you, but the blockage that may be in your neck artery may give, may give you a stroke. That's blockage you don't feel. Fortunately, Eric's neck was clear. Dr. Sawney put him on cholesterol-lowering medication and recommended minimally invasive treatments to open his leg artery back up. We have straight balloons. We have different kinds of stents. They're the same tools used in coronary angioplasties, tiny mesh cages that are inflated with balloons to hold arteries open. This would be a good thing to put in, for example, a curvy artery. And there's more new technology. A device called the Silverhawk cuts plaque into ribbons and pulls it out of the body. I went in at 8 o'clock in the morning. I was out of there around 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, and walking and ready to go back to work and ready to go back diving again. Just like that, nine years of pain gone in five hours. And on this day, one month after the procedure, Eric Carlson reconquers that beach in Santa Cruz. Wow. <laughs> Nothing hurts. Eric knows he's at risk for more blockages, so he'll need to be checked again from time to time. Stop okay. smoking yet? Not quite. Yeah. That's happening, though. Now that his diving calendar is filling up again, he's more determined than ever to live a healthier life. And if the leg cramps return, he'll speak right up. you got to remember that this disease is everywhere. It's, and, and so all of the risk factors have to be controlled. Your diabetes, your high blood pressure, your smoking, your high cholesterol. Very seldom do I see him once in pain anymore. Seeing him so happy and not having any issues with that, it's tremendous. Success. Great success. And that wasn't a moment. That was just like, this is really great. It, it really worked. And I was happy. And I've been happy ever since.